Hi guys! Welcome to Rock Digi. Today we're going to go through a lesson in the student's point of view. First, the educator has opened the lesson that they would like the students to work on. Instructions on how to do this can be found in our How to Open Lessons for Students video. Then students will need to open their email from admin at rockdigi.org. Students will get a new email every time the educator opens a new lesson. The email will look just like this. Next, students will need to click on the link in order to access the lesson. This will take them to the lesson in rockdigi.org. As you can see in the blue toolbar, students can only see the lessons that are open. Another thing that you might notice in the blue toolbar is that while you can see the titles to all the components of the lesson, you cannot skip around the lesson. Students have to complete the lesson in the order that it appears on the screen. So in order to go to the next part of the lesson, they'll need to click next at the bottom of the screen here. If students are in the first lesson of the curriculum, it will prompt them to complete a self-assessment first. Other lessons will not include a self-assessment until they are on their last lesson and they will complete it at the end of the lesson. The rest of the lessons will begin with an existing knowledge. This will give the educator a baseline for where each of their students are at before completing the lesson. Another thing you might notice is that students cannot click next until they've completed the section. So we'll go through and complete this. We'll just be filling out random answers here. And then we'll click next. Next is the whiteboard animation. Students will need to watch the video until the end in order to click next. If the educator chooses to have the students watch the video together as a class or as a group, they can just prompt their students to drag this over to the end. Then they'll be able to select next. And next is the lyric music video. So students will need to watch the video until the end in order to select next just like the last video. And if the educator chooses to have the students watch the video together as a class or as a group, they can do the same thing that we did for the last video. Then we'll select next. Next are the discussion questions. As you can see below the questions, there's a text box where students can type in their responses. The educator may choose to simply have students discuss in class without submitting answers, or they can have students type in answers as they discuss, or this gives students the opportunity to answer the questions when they're working through the lesson independently or remotely. Anything typed into the text box when the student presses the next button will be submitted to the educator. Next are the drill down activities. As you can see, the students would be able to read the instructions for whichever activity is chosen. There are a variety of different activities for a variety of different learning styles. Next is the exit ticket. As you might notice, these questions are the same as the existing knowledge that was at the beginning of the lesson. This way, educators will be able to track student learning from the beginning of the lesson to the end of the lesson. I'll just be filling out random answers just like I was before. Once the student clicks next after completing the exit ticket, as you can see, it displays confetti in celebration of the completion of the lesson. But this also signals to RockDigi to send an email to the parent or guardian of the student with a link to access the school home partnership, where students will watch the whiteboard animation and answer two to three questions with their parent or guardian about the topics of this lesson. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoy the RockDigi experience.